Trey, um, I wanted to ask you about Kevin. Um, just how impressed were you with what he did tonight and how much did he help you guys get this win and polish off this series? Yeah, he was big tonight. Big, big, very big for us. And uh, we, with guys out, Dre being out, Cam, um, I mean, Bogey being, I mean, kind of on one leg. I mean, he did a great job coming in and being aggressive. And it was uh, it was great to see and we, we needed all of it tonight. What are the emotions like right now for for this team? Um, you know, starting out the season fourteen and twenty to now making it to the the Eastern Conference Finals. Yeah, I mean it's high. I mean, guys, uh, the confidence is still there. The confidence is going to remain the same. Um, but everybody's we're happy we made it to the Eastern Conference Finals, but we're not satisfied. So it's uh, it's, it's great that we're we're here, um, but we still got some games to win. Chris Kirshner. Trey, what do you feel like this team proved after this series, especially after winning three games on the road in, in one of the toughest places to play in the NBA? Yeah, I mean, we have two two of the toughest places. Uh, um, oh, it's 11 11, make a wish, y'all. Uh, um, yeah, hold on, what was I saying? Oh, no, yeah, we, we went to two tough places and played. And um, I mean, it was a great environment, loved it. Loved the shit talking, loved everything about it. It's been great. Um, we got two victories, so uh, I'm, I'm happy about that. So it's been fun. Well, I have to ask you, what's your 11-11 wish now, now that you mentioned it? Uh, like if I tell you, it won't come true, bro. <laughs> I, I also want to ask you, I know you're really close with your father, and I saw after the game you, you gave him uh, – your jersey. Uh, what's that moment like for you, just looking back on on your journey in, in basketball? Yeah, I mean, me and him have been we've been at it since the beginning, and um, he's literally been traveling and coming to all my games and just being there to support me since the beginning. Uh, I remember going and taking those two hour drives from Norman, Oklahoma, to Dallas just to play on my AU team and, uh, and flights to go to Kansas City to play with my AU team. He was there from from all those days till now. And so um, we were going to playoff games as a kid and watching them. And for, for us to have a playoff game on Father's Day, um, I wanted to make it a, a mission to come out and win and give him my jersey, so. Jeff Schultz. Hey, Trey, Chris took one of my questions, but I wanted to ask you also, just what's it like for, for you in the mindset of a player when your shot when your shot's not falling, but you know you have to do something and you want to do something to help your team, you just yeah. kind of take us through that. Yeah, yeah, man. It's, I, I just I know I just have to find a way. Uh, my shot, my shot was, I mean, off tonight, um, and I'm, my right hand and my shoulder is given now, and I was just still trying to fight through and push through it. And I mean, shots just weren't going tonight, um, but my my teammates showed up and, and made plays. And so for me, I just Try to find them. I try to find Clint, find JC, Kev. Um, I mean, and then when it was the fourth quarter, I tried to lock in and make some plays for my team on the stretch. because They were making plays for me um, throughout the whole game. So I just wanted to come through in the end and help them out a little bit. Uh, I know I didn't shoot the ball great today, but they they definitely made plays. And um, it was a, a total team effort tonight. Michael Cunningham. Trey, you've been with Kevin from the beginning. Um, I think we've all seen him have, you know, the potential to be a very good player in this league. It seems like in the last two, three months, he's really elevated his game. I mean, what, what have you seen been the difference for him in his game? Yeah, I mean, he's uh, just being more aggressive. I think with, with guys going out, um, we're, we're, we're definitely telling them we need him to be more aggressive, score the ball a little bit more, and um, just, just play free. Uh, relax, have fun. Uh, score when you when you got it. Um, made the right play, and he he's been doing that, and uh, he did it tonight, and uh, it was good. As his game, as he's been playing more aggressive, have you seen a different attitude for him at all? Like, is he talking more? I mean, what's he been like? Nah, he's the same same person. Kevin Kev is level headed. He's, he makes plays, and uh, he he ain't, he ain't changed at all. He just go out there and does what he needs to do. Malika Andrews. Trey, uh, Nate McMillan said there's a balance, right, between celebrating tonight and preparing for a tough Milwaukee team tomorrow. How, how do you approach that? When does the, the switch flip for you? 
Um, for me, probably in the morning. Uh, obviously, want to celebrate with my teammates and just be um, be able to sit back and really reflect on the series. But um, understand in the morning we got to go right back at it and uh, uh, get prepared for this next challenge. So they're they're a good team. Steve Hummer. Right, I know. Uh, I'm, I'm sure you're you're not pleased with how you shot, but how how important is it to you to know that uh, uh, you can you can have a bad shooting night, and this team can still win an important game like this? Yeah, I mean, it's it's really good. Uh, it's a great feeling. Um, I mean, I'll, I always want to make plays for my teammates, but I mean, it's the nature of the game. Some nights it's not going to be your night, and. Uh, you're going to need some people to help you. And uh, tonight it was, it was great to have Kev do what he did, Clint rebound and playing defense. And um, guys really stepped up, and it was, it was good. Just a few more. We will go to Terrell Thomas. Trey, it's been obvious uh, from the beginning that Tony's mission has been to bring an NBA championship to Atlanta. Uh, speaking with you a few years back in Salt Lake City when you were beginning your journey as an Atlanta Hawk, you made it clear that that was your mission as well. Uh, now your team is four wins away from the NBA Finals, although, as you mentioned, very quick turnaround, a tough Milwaukee's team. But can you talk to me about the journey and how it's been just to get to this point? Yeah, I mean, it's been a tough journey. Um, I mean, it took a lot of losses to get here. Uh, and for us... I think uh, the guys who have been here since the rebuild, um, this feeling is, is a lot better than what it's been. And um, we know it's, it's uh, our first year in the playoffs together, um, and it's only the beginning too. So uh, that's that's the best part about this whole thing is that this is this is just the beginning. Thank you. We'll try to get three more in first from Christos. Hey, Trey, congratulations about your about the win. What, how is your mindset about the games in the, against the Bucks? And you are four four wins away from the NBA Finals. How how you approach that uh, that series against the Bucks? You got to approach it the same way you approach every other series. Just I mean, take it one game at a time. Um, understand the details um, that we're going to need to to have going into the game, and and be focused and locked in. Uh, because they're, they're a good team and they're a hungry team. So um, we got to come in there with that same mindset and uh, be ready to play. Uh, two more. We'll go back to Chris Kirshner. Hey, right, what can you say about the toughness that Nate has instilled in this team? You guys have bogey on one leg, no no Dre, no Cam. You didn't shoot well, but you guys still ended up winning. Yeah, I mean, it just shows the belief we all have in each other and the fight we want to give for each other. Um, this It just shows how close this group is. I mean, when you have guys out there fighting for each other and um, not wanting to, to, to sit out um, and, and take this game off because you, you feel like you're going to leave your, your teammate, your brother behind, um, it just shows how close we are. And uh, I hope people really understand and see how, how close this team is um, when we play. Um because we're, we're, we're a close team, and I'm happy the way guys fought through injuries and guys are still fighting through through injuries just to play. And Because um, this is our first time, we're enjoying it, and we want to win. And uh, I love this attitude that uh, Nate and um, everybody's really, really been having. Final question to McLean Baxley of the AJC. Yeah, after game six, you said, you know, game sevens are fun. You know, y'all are looking forward to it and just continue to play basketball. What was the environment like out there at night? You know, we heard, you know, on the TV, you know, they're, 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 uh, the fans are saying your name, uh, not in a you know, nice light, I guess. But, you know, just, you know, winning three games there in Philly and, you know, winning five on the road this playoffs. And you know, what's that been like? Yeah, I mean, uh, this was, I mean, people said this was uh, two of the toughest places to play in the the whole league. And, um, I mean, you saw the fans just, Fans still being immature and throwing bottles on the floor at the end of the game. And um, I mean, it's, it's sad, but um, I mean, this, these first two series have been, um, have been fun battles and uh, fans have been involved and uh, maybe a little bit too much, but I mean, it's, it's, it's what it's supposed to be like at the end of the day. Fans are supposed to be interactive and fans are supposed to chant and cheer for their team. Um, but, I mean, I feel like sometimes they take it too far, especially in these first two places. 
I mean, I, I'm sure Milwaukee's, I mean, I've never heard Milwaukee doing stuff like that. So, I mean, I, I know they're going to be cheering for their fans and things like that. So, um, their, their team, I mean, so it's going to be fun. It's going to be a fun battle. Thank you, Trey.